Hello guys, I'm Nindo Kondo one and I'm gonna show you how to install the Hombo Launcher on 3DS 11.0 whiteout entry point or other home launcher. So all I think you need is a OOT game card and a safe dongle or a safe data device. So I'm gonna use the safe dongle. You're gonna go on the Smilo and Gift of a website on Yellow Age repository from OT and you're gonna download that hex payloads here so it's from June 26 2016 after that you're gonna get get this hex payload like here on the uh, yeah on the desktop um, you're gonna open that OT hex payload so this is the hex payload and so this is the folder you download right now now you're gonna um, go to save image process if you have a post save data device or if you have a save dongle you're gonna go to save image okay first I'm gonna show you for the power save data device you're gonna click here you're gonna try the first um, if the first don't work you're gonna try the second folder the field so if you treat as saying when you insert the game after all this, uh, the data is delete. You're gonna try the second one. So you're gonna go the first. You you change your region for me is all, and you're gonna search your um, file. You you gonna can uh, find your file for your 3ds version. If you go in here and you're gonna select your 3ds version. So for me is all at eight point. 0.0-30TE uh, you're gonna download the Robin and you're gonna see that the Robin is downloaded and Robin saying you what is the uh, file you have to save that you have to start to your 3 game so for me it's like this I'm I'm gonna um, put in my save that device but I don't own one so I can't show you but it's easy to do it in a save that device online use the app and you're gonna make this on your you're gonna make this safe data for the safe data with the safe data device in your game so in your t game so now for this power safe uh, uh safe i mean um you're gonna go here and you're gonna do the same thing with the other so if this doesn't work after all this um, installation you're gonna try this um, so you're gonna go on your region for me every time or and you, you're gonna select your so you're gonna download this Robin again for the safe tank and you're gonna see that ah, this is my Robin and you're gonna select this so this is the safe data you have to extract to your 3ds if you own some uh, something like a new 3ds 9.0 you you gonna download your Robin and you're gonna go into this and you're gonna select USA so the same for safe data device and now you're gonna select new 3ds so now you're gonna select that what is still so new 3ds U F two seven two eight two U zero so this is your uh, if you have a uh, new 3ds version nine point zero so you got to do every time drop in download and search your uh, safe data with this. So but I have Oreos um new I have Oreo normal 3ds and I have 11.0 so for normal f um f.0 3ds you're gonna select this the down. So this will works on the newest firmware for the 3ds. Uh, this is already nice. So now you're gonna uh, take your save because uh, when you do it with your save dangle, he will not root uh, the file if you don't put it on the root of your desktop. So you're gonna take this and put it on your desktop. Yes, because I have it already. So ignore this. You're gonna go on your desktop and this is your save. You're gonna open this save with the save dangle. Well, I'm gonna show you. But first, um, so for me the second one works, so um, I'm gonna show you with the second one safe because the second one works for me, not this. So, 
I'm gonna select again this, again this with the second one because for me it works the second one. And I'm gonna select the down, make it on my desktop, and now I'm gonna open it with the save dongle device which you can find on the Airview Save Dongle website. You're gonna go from PC to Kurt, uh, uh, yeah, from PC to Kurt. You're gonna select this. So this is the save data. This is hex for OT. And now you're gonna open it with the save dongle. Now why is on your root? So I've installed on your root on the SD card. You can't read it. The save dongle is here and break up the process. I have it on your root on your SD card. I don't know why. Uh, no SD card on your PC. Um, I don't know why it's, it's read it. So you have it on the root of your PC. Okay, now you, you, you're gonna wait. Wait, 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 wait. And as the installation is finished, you have the 11.0 hex on your um, game. Okay, now you're gonna pull out the save dongle and put in um, the SD card, which is already put in. You're gonna download uh, this home restore kit, which you can find like here for me. On this uh, website, you can find the home restore kit. To make things easier, this is the home restore kit. Okay. Um, yeah, now you have this starter folder, you're gonna open this and you see a 3ds boot point, point 3ds x fill. You're gonna go to your SD card, so for me it's this, and you're gonna put this to fields. You're gonna put it on the root of your SD card. So this to fields, you're gonna put it on the root of your SD card. So for me it's here. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna show you. This two fields, what you found in home circuit, you're gonna copy it in the root of the USD card. Only I copy it. So, I, I ignore this field because, um, because I don't need it anymore. This two, because I already have it. So, you're gonna get this 3DS folder with some uh, sync, like some installer. And you're gonna got this boot point 3 dsx look. So now you're gonna take your Robin file. So for me it's this my Robin file. Wait. For me it's this my Robin file. And you rem rename this to payload.bin. And this file payload.bin you're gonna put it on the read of USD card. So like this. So now you have the payload.bin file. I already have it, so I'm gonna delete the payload.bin file uh, with this, this here. So, but I'm recommender that you ha put first the um, file on your SD card and after that rename to payload.bin. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Uh, not the save data. You don't have to rename the save data to payload.bin. You take that. Um, you have to download again this uh, fuck or you're gonna instruct you. So for me it's new all 3 no all 3 ds point zero point. So forget what I'm saying about the payload, okay? Uh thirty to e you you're gonna download the Robin for so for for me it's like this. Uh and now you are gonna take this Robin fill, so I don't know why the he make it back. So you're gonna take this Robin fill. No, don't open it. Don't open it. You're gonna take this Robin fill and take it on the fucking root of your SD card. And after that, you rename the Robin fill to payload point bin. So don't put the save peel on the root of your uh, SD card. Uh, put the Robin fill. So I already have it, so I'm gonna eliminate this. So now the SD card is ready to extract the data. You're gonna put out your SD card. And now I'm gonna change to my 3DS with the Homebrew recording app, I think, or I'm recording with my handy to show you. Does this work? I hope uh, you guys like this easy tutorial uh, to get Homebrew on 11.0 3DS. 
Okay, um, now I'm gonna go to my uh, 3DS, so see you guys. Hello guys, this is the video showing you that the OT Hex works on 3DS version 11.04 Europe, so for USA and Japan I think the same. For new 2DS I think the same, so for 2DS the same. Okay, let's go out because now you see my firmware and now I'm, I'm gonna put in the Zelda okay the, the Zelda is putting in and you're gonna wait for the Zelda game to load so now it's the Legend of Zelda we're gonna start the game Yeah, and now the capture is so bad, but I, I don't have a capture card, something like that, so I'm gonna use my phone for this thing. You're gonna see the hex playload, you're gonna go start, and now you're gonna press simple A, and the playload will loading on the newest version. So now you can um, use Hombre like other times, so like the old times. And you can uh, download games with it and something like that. You can also install um, uh, the Super Misty Chunk X for the Super Misty Chunks, but I think I'm gonna make a second tutorial for it. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoy your 3DS with Homebrew F.0. If you like to know more about Homebrew, something like that, you're gonna leave a sub, and yeah, I hope you like this. So. Peace out.